everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie! Today's video is a Fashion Nova haul. Last time that I posted a Fashion Nova video, it was a Fashion Nova week-long wear test. So I wore clothes from Fashion Nova for a week. I had a lot of fun filming that video and you guys seem to love it. Fashion Nova is a little bit of a questionable brand for me. So in today's video, it's a try on haul. I'll be trying on the clothes and then I'll be taking them out and wearing them around town a little bit. Bless you. Last time I made a Fashion Nova video, they were a big brand, but since then they have grown so much bigger. They have collabs with huge celebrities like Cardi B. I have noticed that their clothes are on the pricier end. I almost feel as though their prices have gone up since I posted that video earlier in the year. I gave myself a $500 budget for this video, and in my head I was expecting I'd be able to pick up so much more than what I got. I still have a nice selection of clothes, but it was quite difficult to shop within that budget. So today I have shoes from Fashion Nova, I have dresses, I have jeans from Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova jeans are exceptional. I will give them that. That being said, I have only purchased one pair so far from my previous video, but they are some of the best jeans that I've ever owned. They feel really comfortable, they're a very good fit, they're a really nice style and length for me, so extra points for denim. So with all that being said, I'm gonna show you guys each piece of clothing one by one, all the clothing that I bought from Fashion Nova, and then uh, you have a bonus video within this video because not only is this a try-on haul, this is also a week-long wear test. So let's have a look at these items and I'll give you my first thoughts and then I'll piece together some outfits later. Okay, so first up we have this purple maxi dress. This is called the On The Runway maxi dress. I got this in a size small and this is a 50 US dollar dress, which for me in Australian dollars is probably well over 60. I do think that the price reflects the quality in most aspects because it's a $50 dress and it definitely feels like it's worth $50. Of the clothes that I've picked up from Fashion Nova in the past, I don't think that anything felt like it was a bad quality. So the first thing that I think about this dress, I'm a little bit concerned about these straps. They're very, very thin straps and they, they don't feel like a very thick material. I am concerned that this is the sort of thing where if you wear a little bit too much, the straps might break at the seams. I have seen that happen before with thin straps. It's also a very, very heavy dress. There's a lot of weight in all of this volume down here. So I don't know how those thin straps are going to hold all of that mass. This is not for eating. Please let go. This is not, not lunch. This has a very, very deep V-neck, which is a little bit worrying to me. I don't have very much to show off in this area, so this can go either way. It could look really nice because I'm not busting out of it, or it could be so revealing that I just end up looking silly because I'm quite flat and people might laugh. We're going out for dinner on Sunday, so I think... I think I'll wear this out to dinner. I want to pair this one with some nude heels that I got. Now, I'm very, very torn. I love this style of heel. This is like a strappy sandal style heel. They have memory foam in the sole of them, which is quite nice. They seem like they're going to be very comfortable. These were 30 US dollars, which is pretty reasonable for a pair of stiletto high heels. My main concern about these is that they'll be similar to the shoes that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I had the worst time wearing strappy high heels from Pretty Little Thing, so I'm really, really worried that these are going to be extremely painful like those. I think that these very minimal nude strappy heels should look nice with that purple dress. The next dress is iconic. I believe that you would say this is iconic Fashion Nova. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that Sophia Nygaard got this dress in her Fashion Nova video where she wore Fashion Nova clothes for a week. It was a long time ago that she posted that. I can't remember exactly, but I think it may have been the same dress. I got this because this is iconic Fashion Nova. Celebrities wear this dress. Kylie Jenner, I think, wears this dress. This is called the Mora Mesh dress. This is a $35 dress. My biggest concern for this is because it's white, I'm really worried that it's going to be very, very transparent when I wear it. I'm going to have to be careful what sort of underwear that I wear with this. And I'm also concerned that because it's mesh and it is very tight by the looks of it, I'm going to have to invest in some sort of shapewear. The thing that I'm definitely not looking forward to is the length of it. 
I do have quite a long torso, so I'm concerned that this dress isn't going to fit all the way down for me and I may end up having to wear some biker shorts or something with it because we want to keep this family friendly here on YouTube. Now I was considering pairing this white dress with these white heels that I got. These are awesome. I love these really really chunky heels. Not only do they look great, they remind me of uh, maybe the 60s, but also chunky heels are very very comfortable. These came in a couple of different colours, not green unfortunately. Well, what are you looking for in there? These are $35 and I would happily pay that again for these. I actually want to pick these up in other colours. They came in black and also in a leopard print. Because I was working on a budget for this video, I, I kept the shoe order to a minimum. But if you want me to film a Fashion Nova shoe haul, please let me know. I was actually thinking of making a video about winter shoes. You know, looking at thigh-high boots and various other shoes that you could wear in winter. What I love most about these is they remind me of shoes that Bratz dolls would wear. <laughs> if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I love early 2000s fashion so these I just could not resist. So I was thinking of pairing these with that Mora mesh dress. I'm not certain though if that's going to be too much white so I may end up pairing not enough green. I may end up pairing this with the nude sandals. We'll have to see when I try this on. I really went ham with the Fashion Nova dresses. Next up I have a lilac dress. Lilac is my all-time favorite color. This has beautiful lacy detail all over it. This is called the Change Your Mind Crochet Mini Dress. Now this dress is $50. It does feel quite heavy. The construction doesn't actually seem that great to me for $50. There's a lot of loose stitches around here where the straps join the dress. Where the lace joins the bodice of the dress, there are a lot of loose stitches on here. $50, I would definitely expect a better finish on this product. This looked stunning on the model, so I hope that it looks that good on me. Very excited to wear this one out, maybe to lunch. This might be a little bit too over the top for a lunch date, maybe better for a dinner date or for a party. I'll see what occasions pop up in the next few days. I just can't wait to get into this. I am going out tonight, but it's a very low key event. I'm going to a friend's house, we're going to watch TV, we're going to eat fried chicken. I don't think that this is a fried chicken dress. I mean, you can wear whatever dress that you want to eat fried chicken, but I think that I should save this for a better occasion. So what I'm thinking of wearing with this is these black mules. I couldn't resist these. I really like that there's a square toe on them. They have a, it's kind of a faux alligator leather. These are $30 mules. These have a very unusual heel on them. Can you see the shape of that? It's not a stiletto, it's not a chunky heel, it's thinner at the top than it is at the base. Very, very strange. I really like this style of shoe because you can just slip it on. You can put this on with bell-bottom jeans or with a dress or with skirts and shorts. It dresses it up because there is a heel, but you don't have to fuss around with straps or anything like that. So it keeps it a little bit more casual, a little bit low key. The only issue for me with all of these shoes, they're open toe shoes and I have Officially, the most hideous toes on YouTube. You can quote me on that. I would be willing to bet money that I have the worst toes on YouTube. My toes are horrible and they're crooked. They have never been straight my entire life. Yes, you have lovely straight toes, Archie. So unfortunately for me, I very rarely wear shoes like this because I just feel extremely self-conscious about the shape of my toes. They just bend in all sorts of directions and it's even worse when I try to squeeze into shoes like this because this part up here pushes all your toes together in a funny way and they just end up looking horrible and I'm very very nervous and you know what? Please don't make fun of me. When you see the week-long wear test part and you see me and my horrible toes, don't leave a nasty comment saying how awful my toes are. I can't change them. Or maybe I can. You know what? I'm open to constructive criticism. If you go, hey Alex, your toes are awful, but here's how you can fix them. I'm open to those comments. But if you're just going to laugh at my horrible bendy toes, please, please just don't. I, just, I don't know if I can handle it. I'm sick of the unrealistic toe standards that birds are setting for humans. Look how straight they are. So moving on to the outfit that I'm thinking of wearing tonight. Maybe a little bit too much for fried chicken, doesn't matter. I have this lavender wrap top. This is a $30 top, 30 US dollars for this 40 something Australian dollars. Seems a little bit much to me. Very, very unusual fabric. It feels like linen. It's soft, 
really unusual texture. It's all creased all over it, but that is purposeful. It has a big O-ring in the front of it. So it goes on like this. And then there's also a tie here that probably wraps around the back. This color is perfect. It's very, very close to the color that I'm wearing right now. My favorite color ever. This is very thick fabric. It's got a couple of layers to it. It has this outside layer that's the strange sort of um, canvasy linen. So the outside layer seems like this strange creasy linen. And then the inside, the inside is a different fabric. There's also a zip. Well, what's that? Hang on. Why? What? What? Oh, why is there a zip? Oh, probably to help you get into it. That would make sense. So I'm thinking of pairing this top with some jeans. Very, very excited about these Fashion Nova jeans. <laughs> these look like they're very, very long. They have a very wide flare at the bottom. I love boot cut and bell bottom jeans. These jeans are called the Ready For You Flare jeans. I got these in a size three. These were only 35 US dollars, which to me is worth every cent. My favorite jeans are a pair of mum jeans that I've picked up from Yes Style, and then my other boot cut jeans that I got from Fashion Nova. If these fit me like those other Fashion Nova jeans that I have, I am going to be so happy. The only issue with buying jeans from American websites for me is that the Australian sizing for pants is significantly different to the US sizing. So I got these in a size three. Normally in Australia, I wear a size six for pants. I hope that I have done the size chart conversion correctly. These have pockets in the front of them, sort of sitting on the hip. There's a pocket here, pocket here. We don't have any pockets on the back which seems strange to me. I'm not so happy about that because these front pockets are nowhere near big enough to fit my phone in. Wouldn't be able to fit any almonds in the front pocket. Unfortunately, I'm so sorry to tell you. I hope that these look as good on me as they looked on the model, but you know, here's the thing. Fashion Nova models do seem to be the image of perfection and it is quite an unattainable beauty standard for some of them. Maybe with a little bit of photoshopping of the hips and the butt, I could end up looking like a Nova Bay. But regardless, I think that these jeans would be flattering on a lot of different body shapes. Very excited to wear these. So excited, in fact, that I will wear these. These are the chosen ones. These are going to be the fried chicken jeans because the only other pair of jeans that I picked up, they are white. And I don't want to be eating fried chicken wearing white jeans. So these jeans are $35. These are stretch denim. So hopefully they stretch over my hips and I can wear them. I got these in a size three as well. These are the I'll see you there flare jeans. Same price as the others. These seem like they're very high-waisted, but what intrigued me the most about them was the image of the model. It looked as though they had a very strange flare to them at the base. It almost reminded me of, oh, what do they call? True religion. I think, I think it's called true religion jeans. I've seen them on Instagram and they have a very unique sort of flair at the bottom. And that's what this reminded me of. So I'm very, very excited. These have a rip in them here, just on one leg, I think. No, there's a, there's a rip on both legs. These don't seem to be as long as the other jeans that I showed you, but I'm thinking of pairing these either with the black mules, because black and white can't go wrong, or the nude sandals. I think that the white shoes that I got, that would be a little bit too much with white pants and white shoes. So either these or the black mules. And to pair with them, I have this top. Now this looks stunning. I am a little bit concerned though that some of these tops that I bought are going to be way too hot because we're going into summer and it's very, very warm here. <laughs> Potentially all right for anyone that is in fall or autumn right now, but going into summer, this, it is a lovely soft fabric, but it's going to be very warm. So this blouse is $35. Now until I put it on, I'm not gonna be able to decide if it's worth it or not. It does look beautiful. It's a really nice shade of pink. It seems to drape in a very nice way. It's got, it's got a really interesting puckered detail around the shoulders and it ties up around the waist by the looks of it. This is not really going to come together until I put it on because there's a few different elements to this one. So with that, let me jump into my outfit for the evening and then let's carry on with the week long wear test. I will clothes from Fashion Nova for a week. Day one slash evening one. So this is the outfit that we went with for the fried chicken night. I'm actually glad that I'm wearing the long sleeves because it's quite chilly. Technically it should be quite warm at the moment, but it's getting quite cold, so I'm very happy. So I have two major concerns with this, and that is one, the shoes are a terrifying height. I'm very, very worried that I'm going to trip. Uh, I'm going to fall over. The platform is so big and it's very, very easy to just kind of go tip that little tiny bit too much and break an ankle. So I'm concerned about that. But also thing two is this part here, 
Do you see this? See where this sits? It's, it's so easy to just move just in the tiniest little bit of the wrong direction and have something spill out. So every couple of seconds, I'm just going like this to check that everything is still tucked in nicely and not exposed. So we're gonna pick up some groceries and then head out for our fried chicken. Really happy with the jeans, but they are the wrong size. Definitely the wrong size. They're just that tiny little bit too big and they keep falling down and I keep having to pull them up like this. But aside from that, good length. With the platform shoes, at least, they're a good length. Without these platform shoes, they would be dragging on the ground. So, this is it. Oh, and the last criticism, the pocket situation. There is no way around that mobile phone situation. It has to go in the hand. <laughs> Every time I check my phone, I go like this, and then I go. There is no pocket. Nowhere for the phone. It's really infuriating, and also having it sticking up like this, it's just, it's like a little flag, like a truce flag sticking up. Let's grab some groceries. Korean drinks are delicious. I think I want Milkis, if we can find it. Big Milkis, Jumbo Milkis. Yes, Jumbo Milkis. <gasps> musket, sun-kissed musket. That looks really nice. And then maybe I should get something purple to match my outfit. Alex. Yes. Eggplants are purple. <laughs> Excellent. Matches my outfit perfectly. So we're at our friend Caitlin's house. We have delicious fried chicken here. We ha this is incredible chicken gangjuang. I believe that's maybe how you say it. This is the best fried chicken in Australia, hands down. We have snow cheese. Not that there's very much left of it. You know how I was saying that the jeans that I'm wearing, they're a little bit too big? That's actually come in handy because I've eaten so much fried chicken now that I've filled, filled the jeans out. So now they're perfectly comfortable. The top on the other hand, not so much. I can't, can't breathe now that my stomach is full. And also the amount of times I have had to adjust because things are popping out. Overall, when I walked in the door, Caitlin said, welcome Miss Seventies. Is that what you said, Miss Seventies? Saturday night fever, you know? You Saturday get, like, night fever. Flare jeans and like midriff, it's a whole thing. I'm ready to boogie. <laughs> but I'm too full of fried chicken, so can't really do any boogieing. I could just. <laughs> Saturday night fever. <laughs> that enthusiasm, though. No, so like that's mine. But I thought you just said I, you're too full. No, no, I might be too full, but I still want more. <laughs> You know you're getting old when you come home from a night out looking like this and it's only 10 o'clock and all you've done is eat fried chicken. It is day two now and uh, we're up nice and early. We're at a, a nice little cafe and I'm not quite dressed appropriately for the occasion, but there is a reason for that. So you guys remember the, the fancy dress, the formal dress? So it occurred to me that within the next week, I literally have no exciting formal occasions to wear that dress. I thought maybe Dan and I could go out, you know, we could, we could go to a charity ball or something, I don't know. Anyway, no, it occurred to me, my life is very uneventful and all I do is circle between my favorite cafe and my friends' houses, so there's no occasion to wear the fancy dress. So, we did think of an occasion though. My dear friend Samuel is filming a Wish suit haul on his channel. He bought suits from Wish and uh, he's been uh, wearing them for the past couple of days and he, he comes now in his very dapper suit. And I said to him, hang on Sam, if you're wearing a suit for your video, I can wear my fancy dress and we can look super fancy and just go do something very, very mundane. Sam, show the people. So. Uh, Let's have a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for Suit Up Sam, who has suited up for the occasion with these very tight pants from Wish, and he can't bend his legs. Why did you pick a park bench? Damn it, Alex! <laughs> Besides that, everything's fine. Like, it's so fine. fine. It's fine. I Look at this, this. suit! How, cu how cute is this? This is the coolest suit I have ever seen. So. Because Sam is dressed so nicely, it's time for the reveal. Let me take off the glasses and the jacket. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> the reveal. Uh, here. Okay, I'm not dressed for the park, but neither are you. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm dressed for absolutely nothing. I don't know what I'm dressed for. I'm your Muggle Studies teacher, I think. 
<laughs> My thoughts are, because we look so fancy, we can go, there's a really nice park nearby called Fagan Park. It's a beautiful place. Lots of people go there to get wedding photos. I've photographed a few weddings in there. Uh, people go there for school prom photos and stuff like that. So why don't we go get some nice fancy photos of us in your suit and my lovely long dress. Yes, yep. an ill-fitted suit in the park. Why not? Sounds like fun. And so, first issue with my dress though that I'm noticing is uh, I think it's too big. I feel like I should have got a size down because at the back we have a lot of room and it's meaning that things aren't fitting very well at the top and I'm a little bit exposed. And also I didn't, it didn't occur to me that this v-neck was so so deep. I mean, I saw it was deep in the pictures, but I didn't think that it was... It's triple deep, babe. It's triple deep. Also, it's very, very cold, hence why I have my coat here. Much more appropriate for the occasion. <laughs> Better. Okay, so we're at the park. It is a little bit chilly, though, and there isn't very much fabric, so I don't want to be exposed to the elements for an extended period of time, hence the coat. But, uh... I think I'm just gonna have to man up and take it off. Take it off. Before I do though, let's have a look at the shoes. So oh, how stylish. There they are. Uh, not so great for the, the boards down here. I feel like I'm gonna go straight through at some point. They're actually a lot more comfortable than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were gonna be extremely uncomfortable. I mean, I have only been wearing them for a few minutes though, so let's be, let's be fair. There's plenty of time for disaster to strike. The one thing that I don't like about them is how they make my toes look. My toes do look like spaghetti right now. <laughs> At least the dress is long enough that you can't see the spaghetti toes. So with that, let us... Remove! Alex, are they backup shoes? You can see them in the frame. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet. <laughs> Let's get some video footage of me walking in the nice dress so you can see the unusual slits in the front. Shh, just, just, just be silent, be pretty. <laughs> no, is that how you like your women, Daniel? No, no talk. Only pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Look at my toe! <laughs> We've had a spaghetti slippage. <laughs> We're trying to be all serious and get a nice shot of me walking and then look at my toe. It's, we've popped a toe. <laughs> we haven't popped a foot, we've popped a toe. <laughs> oh, my toes do not want to stay in the straps! Okay, let's try that again. Take two. <laughs> I didn't even see it. That's a hill! <laughs> Were you not expecting the hill? No! <laughs> I was trying to model! Model! Dan, what do you think of the dress as I'm walking? Does it look nice? Do we look fly? He's not saying anything. Sorry? Does it look nice? It, it looks lovely. You're so graceful. Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> no, you look stunning. It's interesting how there's this piece of fabric that kind of runs down the center, so your legs go on either side of the fabric. It's very, um, Princess Leia in that costume in front of the slug. You know what <laughs> Okay, so what we're gonna do now, because I'm feeling very fancy, I actually feel really, really good in this dress, so we're gonna take some pictures. Now, the, the one consideration here is that my darling husband didn't dress up for the occasion. Converse All-Stars and shorts, my ex-boyfriend is wearing a nice suit. May I remind everyone, it is a very cheap suit. From Wish! <laughs> I've spent nothing. Or, Dan, USM's suit, put on the jacket, and we can get some nice couple photos. Do you wanna, I think we can make it work. Do you want to ruin the suit? Oh, hey Dan, if I like pop a squat, like I'm going to bust my ass out of this anyway. <laughs> I'm just going <laughs> to... Stop squatting, it's so awkward. <laughs> it's just like walking somewhere along. How you going? How you going? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, let's, let's give this a go, here. Yeah. Sam, I must say, that suit is f***ing sick. Yes. <laughs> oh, I love it. I just wish the pants were a little bit bigger. Sorry. That's why the website's yeah. called Wish. I wish. This will be fun. Ah, yes. Now, now, now stretch that arm okay. back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, quick, Sam, take this. Transform. <laughs> Dan, you actually look like a mad lad. <laughs> I, oh Again. my god, I love this. Cut, no, this side! That's my bad side. In my channel in Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor! Sick, cutest <laughs> couple! <laughs> this is like prom all over again. Aw, <laughs> oh. oh, Dan. Oh. You actually look really nice. Thank Sam, you. you should wear this suit with a blue shirt underneath. It looks really, it looks like you're a rich guy that belongs on a yacht. And then we do one of these. 
uh, my left arm is not strong, sweetie. What do I do? You, you oh. need to go backwards and. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh shit, it's ripping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Help. Help. Oh dear. Help. Oh dear. Help. We need to remove. I'm deposing. This is um an unusual thing to watch. now and I'm wearing this purple dress. We're going out for lunch today and I'm not entirely sure what shoes that I should wear with this dress. I feel like black, white and nude, all three of these could suit, but no matter what I do, I'm going to have the uh-oh spaghetti toe because the toe noodles are going to look awful in all three of these shoes. So I'm going to try them on uh, and I want your opinion guys, but I also want to hear Sam's opinion. Okay, so first colour, black. Black shoes with purple dress? No. No. White shoes with purple dress? Acceptable. Acceptable. Acceptable? But give me another option. Let me see more. More feet. <laughs> uh, no, not like that. Nude shoes, lilac dress. Nude shoes, it's like they're not even there. Acceptable. Okay, so it's either white or nude. White? Or nude? Mm hmm. Hmm. This is me being me, Alex. Which one's more comfortable? I, the white one is going to be more comfortable because the heel is much chunkier. But I, I you know, I will sacrifice comfort Go for white. style. Go white. You think the white? It feels a little bit more summery. It's more casual wear. You're out for the day. That's true. It's summer. And yes. it is quite warm out there. And you want to be comfortable. True. Okay, yes. I feel like if we were going out for dinner, maybe the strappy ones, but because we're Correct. going out for lunch, yeah. we go for the white. That is more daytime okay. wear. I agree. Thank you. Hello, hello. It is day three now, and I'm wearing the lilac dress, as you saw when I was trying to decide what shoes I wanted to wear. So we went with the white ones, and I've been wearing them for a total of, like, ten minutes, just going from the car, walking through the car park, and coming to the cafe, and I already have blisters. Terrible, terrible blisters, particularly on my right foot. It's really, really bad. The shoes look lovely, and they should theoretically be comfortable because the chunky, chunky heel makes it really easy. I can jump up and down, I can run around, it's totally fine. But the edge is this really sharp plastic and it's slicing through my feet and it's terrible. Um, aside from that, I love the lace details all over the dress. It's very pretty. I think I kind of need to iron it flat though because this little bit just keeps sticking up. It seems a little bit ill-fitted. I wish that it was a bit tighter around the waist. It fits my hips quite nicely, but it's a little bit baggy around my waist, so I feel like the, the fitting isn't perfect, but it does look really pretty and it's a really nice length too. Only issue for me is going downstairs and upstairs a little bit short, and the shoes are very, very precarious on the steps, but aside from that, this is a really, really nice summer dress. Uh, I know it's going into winter in some countries, but for us in Australia, going into summer, Perfect, I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot. This one is actually a fantastic buy. I'm very, very happy. So guys, I am so, so deeply sorry from the bottom of my heart. I have unfortunately clickbaited you because this is no longer I wore clothes from Fashion Nova for a week, but it's just become I wore clothes from Fashion Nova for four days because I can't wear this dress. I really, really applaud Sophia Nygaard because I, I'm pretty sure this is a dress that she wore in one of her videos and she wore it out in public. I can't bring myself to do it. I, I just, I can't, at least at the moment. I don't have a bra on right now and the problem here is I need a sticky bra and I don't have one. So I'll have to go get one. And also I'm not wearing the right undies. 
definitely, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing nude undies and I feel like white undies might end up being better because I don't know if you can see on camera, but I can see straight through, just straight through. And I don't really want to go out in public looking like this. And normally what I would do, I would wear a jacket over the top. I'd be like, I have an embarrassing piece of clothing on underneath, like I did with my last Fashion Nova week long wear test where there was that cherry two piece set. And I just wore a coat from Fashion Nova that belonged to Sam. But this time, it's a stinking hot day. I can't do it. I can't wear a coat right now to cover myself. So I've just tried this on so you can see. Let's just give it a quick review. I really like the sleeves. I, I love that it's got this lettuce trim on the top here. It's really pretty and I really like the long white mesh sleeves. I do quite like the frilly ruffly details. I think they're, I think it's very nice. I can understand why this is a popular design. The length, I mean, it's a tiny, tiny little bit short for me. Definitely a party dress, I would say, hence why, you know, I got all dressed up and I put on the red lipstick and everything because I was ready to go out tonight looking like this, but yeah, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, maybe not. But I did pair it with these shoes. Um, these are uh, noodle toes, as you can see here. These shoes are definitely the most comfortable. They do have the smallest heel on them, but also because that heel is kind of chunky, just a little bit chunky, they're very, very comfy. I don't feel like I'm wobbling like I would on stilettos, and the edges feel a little bit softer than those white shoes. So I'm going to swap outfits now because even though I'm happy overall with this dress, I'm just not prepared for it. So I think I'm going to change its white jeans. So let's hope that the white jeans don't have the same problem as the white dress. Please help me. I'm 26 years old and I still don't know how to dress myself. And I'm a fashion YouTuber. Make it make sense. Okay, I'm changed and I feel a lot more comfortable now. I am in love with this outfit and I'm more than happy to declare that it is my favorite. So I've got the beautiful silky, interesting wrap top, which has such interesting like, I don't know, look at this, it, it looks like silk and then it's got this sort of um, creased texture to it. So it looks like, I don't know, like tissue paper almost. It looks really delicate and silky. It's extremely comfortable and I love the color too. The sleeves are interesting. They've got that massive, they pinch in here and then they sort of balloon out. And in the wind, they do this very strange flappy thing. This is what my underarms look like when I wave at someone. <laughs> These jeans, I'm in love. These are, I think these are my favorite white jeans that I've ever worn. They're really flattering, they're very long. So with this little heel, it brings them up to just the right height. Like just, they're just not touching the ground. But my toes aren't covered. So we have uh, the, you know what? I would call them noodles, but they're toes. So they're toodles. My, my toe noodles are toodles. And they're sticking out, they're in full force today. Um, so let's just ignore that. Let's just look, appreciate the outfit as a whole. I really like it. I think it's stunning. Yay! I love the rips on the jeans. I think they're in a really, really good spot. Sometimes when I have ripped jeans, the rip is in a strange place and then my skin kind of bulges out and it looks a bit strange, but that's not happening with these. The top is very, very comfortable. It's very breathable too, so it's not too hot to wear this today. And like I said earlier, the shoes are very, very comfy. Look, I can hop around in these shoes. I can run with no problems because of how nice this heel is. So we're having a party tonight. So we're at the shops to pick up some groceries and uh, I'm gonna wear this outfit at our place for the party. So I'm wearing it out shopping and then I'll keep wearing it all through the night and this will be a go-to outfit for me. I'm gonna get so much use out of these jeans. Every time I buy jeans from Fashion Nova, I am impressed. I've got three lots so far. I love all of them. Oh, interesting thing though. These jeans are the same size as those blue ones that I wore on day one, but these fit me a lot better than the blue ones did. They're exactly the same size. So I, I don't know how that works. I don't know if the white jeans have more elasticity to them maybe, but anyway, if you guys want me to do another Fashion Nova haul, maybe I could just do a jeans haul because I'm happy to pick up a whole bunch of jeans from Fashion Nova. If there's any styles that you want me to try, leave them in the comments below and I'll pick a bunch of them to try. I would also like to do a Fashion Nova shoe haul because I picked up three lots and I liked all of them. 
So if there's any shoes that you want me to try from Fashion Nova, leave those in the comments below. Let's head in and do our shopping, but I reckon my overall thoughts are that this is my favorite outfit and the white dress is my least favorite outfit. <laughs> oh, another thing. As I walk off into the distance, just admire my pocket on the back. I have noticed that because this is like a silky top, this does not want to stay up. Look, it, every time I tie a bow, the silkiness just undoes because there's no sort of friction or tension or whatever on it. That is the only thing that I'm not happy about. That one thing. So we just finished our entertainment for the evening. We had guests. I stayed in the outfit and oh, I actually discovered something while I was doing the dishes earlier. So you know how the sleeves are long? They have these little elastic bits in them and you can actually pull them right up, basically, and completely change the whole look. You can like pull them all the way up here and make short sleeves, like puffy, super puffy short sleeves. I don't know if anyone would ever actually want to do that like this, but you know, the option is available to you. So it's a, a very versatile top. Uh, it did kind of get in the way though. I knocked over my wine glass that many times tonight. This is still my favorite outfit, but you guys know that I'm cursed when it comes to white clothing. You know I'm cursed. It's not soy sauce this time. It is just a mysterious black mark. I have no idea what it is. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what it wants from me. So that's it. That is not a week. That is four days wearing Fashion Nova. So that's it guys, that's everything. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. Leave a comment down below and tell me what your favorite outfit was. And if you ever have any items from Fashion Nova that you want me to review, just leave them as a link down below and I'll gather a list of items and then we'll do another video in a couple of months time. Tell me how you think I did with styling these outfits. I'm actually filming my outro on the same day that I filmed my intro. So I'm going to make some predictions. I'm going to assume that my favorite outfit was the purple wrap top with the blue jeans and my least favorite outfit I'm going to assume was the white mesh dress. Now that's just what I'm guessing. I wonder how my predictions come true. <laughs> that's so raven. Don't forget to head over to my Instagram. It's pretty pastel please. I should be posting some of these outfits up on there. So uh, leave a comment on the pictures. Tell us that you came from the video. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah!